Hello, Nicholas Dillon here, The Believe Coach. Today I'd like to share with you some confidence building tips that I found useful in my own life and I really hope that you find them useful in yours. Be true to yourself. Really, be true to yourself. When you wake up and you look in the mirror, I want you to always remember that you bring a uniqueness to the table. You're your own individual. Don't be distracted by external negativity and circumstances and situation. Don't be succumb to the peer pressure of trying to be like someone else. Be true to yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. You were born and made uniquely as an individual. You don't need to hang out with friends and feel like you got to be what they aspire you to be. You're your own self. Don't compare yourself to anything other than yourself. You're unique. That's what makes you unique when you come to the table. You have to be willing to say, you know what? I'm my own man. I'm my own woman. You are who you really aspire to be in life by just being yourself. So there's no need to compare yourself to anyone else other than you. Watch your self-talk, both in your own personal thoughts and in your conversation that you have with others. Really, self-talk is what you're telling yourself each and every day whenever you have a thought, a situation, or a moment. It could be something as simple as, I can get this project done. That's what you're telling yourself when you think about taking on a task. But you don't want that self-talk to be negative, I can't get it done, and that's what you're telling your subconscious because your subconscious feeds on that and takes that under consideration. And again, self-conscious is the most powerful part of the mind. So we've got to keep it with positive things. So check your self-talk and make sure that it remains positive each and every day of your life. Accept compliments and accolades. They come sometimes every day, sometimes constantly throughout the day. But when someone gives you a compliment such as, you have a nice suit on, nice pair of pants, nice hairdo, you're well and organized, accept that, receive that. That becomes something that's personal to you that you are able to resonate within yourself. And that builds your confidence, it builds your self-image, and enjoy that moment, appreciate that moment because that's something that feeds your self-conscious and you want that to because that's building me up in terms of my confidence and my self-belief. Check your support in your inner circle. And what I mean by that is respect yourself first. If you are okay with who you are, you will not allow anyone to disrespect you or you disrespect yourself. You will establish a set of personal and professional boundaries and you will maintain those boundaries and you will guard them. You will not allow anyone to cross over that, cross the line, because you respect yourself enough and your self-image and your self-confidence enough to not any, let anyone exceed that limit. Feed your subconscious and continue to improve. Positive affirmations come into play again here. Think about what you're saying to yourself. Think about what you hear others saying about you. Feed your mind, feed your subconscious positive things. I'm a smart individual. I can get this project done. I'm a handsome individual. I can do anything I want to do in life. Those are positive things. I can get those through CDs, tapes, things of that nature. I can watch videos of empowering things that I am constantly feeding my subconscious. And all of this stuff and all of this information actually goes, to, goes into the bank of your subconscious. In that bank, your mind, when you're having a conversation with someone, when that conversation is even your inner discussion with yourself, your mind wants to go into that bank and pull those positive things out. And when you constantly feed yourself, it begins to take over what's inside your conscious and what's inside your subconscious so that when I find myself in a self-doubt mode, what do I have in the bank? 
positive affirmations. I pull on those and they come into play when I need them to maintain and keep that confidence where I really want it to be. Keep a journal and document yourself. I have done this for approximately 20 years now. Going back to my teenage years, I literally kept a journal and in that journal I documented a lot of my success stories and things that happened to me that were positive along the way. So that as I've gotten older, I've been able to reflect back on those great success stories that really help to cheer me up when I'm in a down mood. And then also what I've done is actually listed a, a complete list of those things that I know that are positive about me. That too helps me to really grasp some positive affirmation when I need it. What I also document in my journal is those gratitude moments. What am I really thankful for in life? Because that puts things into focus and perspective for me and helps to keep my self-image and my confidence grounded. Give of yourself. Whenever you have an opportunity to share those experiences, the accomplishments that you've had in life, they, it may be a simple tip that you give to someone, it may be a tangible something that you're able to give and share with someone who might be in need. The good feeling that you have and you walk away with from being able to share and give of yourself is so positive and has a profound impact on your self-image as well as your confidence. Fulfill your purpose. Get yourself a personal mission statement. That personal mission statement should really define your purpose, what your goals are. It should keep you focused on really what your objective is each and every day of your life. I challenge every one of you to develop a personal mission statement if you don't already have one and always look at that write it on a post-it, put it on your computer, put it on your mirror, put it in the dashboard of your car, but always look to that when you find yourself off kilter, when you find yourself losing focus because your mission and your focus in life is always going to go back to that purpose. That reaffirms your self-worth for you. When you can have a sense of accomplishment at the end of each day with a sense of purpose through that mission, it's always good to have. Thank you very much.